Hello everyone, Jude here from Tech Office Software. In our tutorial today, we shall be learning about how to use Microsoft OneNote effectively, a beginner's guide. OneNote is a digital note taking tool. It is based on the cloud as such. The first thing you have to do is to make sure that you get connected to online before you get started using Microsoft OneNote. You use OneNote to create notes and add content to them. You can use OneNote on every device. OneNote can be installed in Android and iOS devices. You can install it also in PC and Mac. The web version of OneNote works on any modern browser. Since OneNote is on the cloud, you can access it from anywhere and in any device. For you to access OneNote, you need to have a Microsoft account. Then you log in to OneNote. Once you are logged in, you are ready to use OneNote. The most important thing that OneNote can help you to do is to organize your document, add contents to your document, and you can share your documents to friends or any user of OneNote. OneNote have three stages. The first is the notebook, the second is the section, and the third is the page. This is the notebook. I open this notebook and name it Peter. When you tap on the drop down arrow here, it will open up and give you the other option. I have another notebook called Precious. Create a new notebook. On the drop down arrow, you tap new notebook. It will give you the option to give your notebook a name. Let's say I give this notebook text. Then I will create notebook. Notebook has been created. Would you like to share it with other people? Let's say I say not now. So I have text as my new notebook. It has already given me section one. This is section one. I can give the section a name. Let's say I call it free. So we have gotten one section here. You can add as many sections as you want. This is another section and you can add any other section. Now each section has a page. You can add as many pages as you want. This is the name of the section. These are the pages. You now put free one and then the next one free two. You can create as many sections as you want, as many notebooks as you want, and as many pages as you want. Once you open your page, you can type on the body of the page and you can format it. So let's say we want to format this text. You highlight the text, then from the home page, you can bold, you can use italic, you can use underline, you can change the font. Color. The background color. You can use bullet and numbers, bullet numbers. You can decide to use heading. Have heading one, heading two. From the insert tab here, you can insert a table. You select how you want your table to be. It has been inserted. Let's say we want to remove these colors from the table from home page. We tap on the color and we choose no color. We can make corrections from here. See happiness. You can also insert pictures from the insert tab. You select from the image group. You can select to insert pictures. You can choose screen clipping or you can get your pictures online. This I search for nature. So from here, you can select the nature you want. You come to the edge of the content, right click, hold it down, then you can move it around as you want. As we have moved it here, we can easily start typing on this space. 
you can also insert videos you can from the insert button you can insert videos from online and even audio so let's say we want to get video online we put the video link you can see it has located one of my videos one more thing about this one note is that you can even play the video from here so you can see the video has started from one note from draw here you can use the ink to draw anything we write come that means from the draw you can draw anything you can put any shape you want you right click hold down and it will give you the shape you can as well delete anything you want you can turn this ink writing into text to do that you come to this lasso you select lasso you use the lasso to highlight the ink writing then so you select ink to text and it has bring it to text you can use math equation you can select any equation you want if you are the type that is using math equations you do maths and then you can use symbols too a symbol of money and other things in one note you have features that can translate what you have written let's say we highlight what we have written here from here the review on the review you can translate so let's say we want to translate this we highlight first after we have selected it we come to translate we select to translate it has detected that is english united states then we choose the language we want to translate it this i choose german as you can see it has translated it to german when you are through with one note you can share it with any other one note user to do this you come to file you select share then it will give you option to put the people you want to share it their name or their email then to get a link that people can use to view it you click here to you can create a link and or you can share it with a meeting you can as well export one note in different formats one note 20 to 2010 to 2016 or as a microsoft word dot docx or as a microsoft word 1997 to 2003 doc or pdf you can select to export a complete notebook a section or a page you can as well send it as email to somebody send it as an attachment send it as pdf send it as microsoft word or send it to blog so to this end we have come to the end of this tutorial please like the video subscribe if you have not done so already press the bell icon so youtube will notify you once i drop a new video see you in the next video